వెల్కమ్ టు టీసెట్ నా పేరు లింగదాస్ హైట్స్ అండ్ డిస్టెన్సెస్ అనే టాపిక్ని డిస్కస్ చేద్దాం హైట్స్ అండ్ డిస్టెన్సెస్ అనేది కొత్తగా ఇప్పుడు రాబోతున్న అన్ని మధ్యకాలంలో జరుగుతున్న అన్ని ఎగ్జామ్స్లోనూ ఒకటి నుంచి రెండు మార్కులు రావడానికి ఎక్కువ అవకాశం ఉంది వస్తున్నాయి కూడా అయితే పూర్తిగా హైట్స్ అండ్ డిస్టెన్స్ అనే టాపిక్ పూర్తిగా ప్యూర్ మ్యాథ్స్కి సంబంధించింది ఇది మనకి త్రిగోణమితికి యాక్చువల్గా త్రి త్రిగోణమితికి సంబంధించిన టాపిక్ ఇది we are not using the trigonometric functions to solve the heights and distances general problems why because the trigonometric problems are based on completely the ratios of the trigonometric ratios sin theta cos theta tan theta and the inversely problems but we are not using that formulas by using the only right angle triangle the ratios of the uh, sides and its angles what is the right angle triangle first we are going to discuss about it right angle triangle in the triangle the any one of the angle is 90 degrees that is called right angle triangle if it is a triangle is a b c in this a b c the right angle opposite side is hypotenuse the remaining two sides are side 1 side 2 when we have the right angle triangle according to the pythagoras theorem the hypotenuse square is equal to ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square this is the pythagoras theorem to solve the uh, right angle triangle sides so in this right angle triangle we have the right angle at b we have the another angle at a another angle at c so what we are, what will the remaining angles in the right angle triangle the remaining angles in the right angle triangle is if one side is if one angle is 90 degrees another angle is another angle at a and c maybe one angle is 30 degrees the another angle is 60 degrees it was means 30 degrees another angle is 60 degrees in the triangle our sides is indicates with the opposite to the angles for example at angle a at angle a related to the side in that means opposite to the angle a is bc this is the side the angle 60 opposite side is ab angle 90 opposite side is hypotenuse so the sides are related to the opposite sides of the opposite sides of the angles 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees one is 30 degrees another one is 60 degrees another one is 90 degrees so when we see this how is the sides to the relation to the 30 to 60 to 90 opposite to the 30 degrees side is x x units opposite to the 60 degrees is x root 3 opposite to the 90 degrees is 2x opposite the 90 degrees is 2x so this is 2x the 30 degrees opposite side is x units opposite the 60 degrees is x root 3 opposite the 90 degrees is 2x the three sides opposite to the three angles so you have to remember this how is the right angle triangle angles for example if you go for the example for this angles for the sides how it is and again we draw the another right angle triangle this is the one of the right angle triangle in this one of the right angle triangle there is a 90 degrees 90 degrees at uh, a at uh, b at uh, c another angle this is 30 degrees another angle this is 60 degrees 30 degrees and 60 degrees if 30 degrees of opposite side is if it is 10 30 degrees of opposite side is 10 60 degrees of opposite is 10 root 3 60 degrees of opposite is 10 root 3 the 30 degrees of opposite is 10 60 degrees of opposite is 10 root 3 then it was 90 degrees 90 degrees of opposite is 20 so we have to take in the values as like this so how we apply this uh, in the heights and distances in the heights and distances these are uh, 90 degrees between the ac and the ab the ab will be taken as height for the any of the tower or any of the mountain 
the any of the building or any of the wall that is a wall or building or tower are taken ab ab that means which is the straight from the earth that is the uh, tower and ac is taken as the distance between the given item that is a tower or it was a wall the distance between the given tower is ac and it is the line between the what is the uh, distance to the what is the top of the tower maybe it was i look or it will be ladder some of the types so this is what is the straight line from the earth that will be height of the tower or height of the wall or height of the mountain height of the building this ac is the distance from the tower to the person the distance between the wall to ladder the distance between the mountain to article that is the ac on the earth so we have to observe that which is the height which is the distance so you taken so in this one you have to remember the 30 degrees 60 degrees and the 90 degrees of three angles we have opposite to the 30 degrees you have to remember very important that is opposite to 30 degrees is x opposite to 60 degrees is x root 3 opposite to the 90 degrees is 2x so this is the one of the triangle from the right angle triangle to solve the heights and distances and another triangle also we have what is the another triangle the another triangle is and again we draw the another right angle triangle this is next right angle triangle which is the angles are one is the angle is 90 degrees is the same another angle is the remaining two angles sum is 90 degrees in the before 30 and 60 in it was 45 and 45 degrees 45 degrees 45 degrees so what we have the angles one angle is 45 another angle is 45 the third angle is 90 so the three angles that is 45 45 and the 90 45 45 90 how it is so in the triangle properties the sides which are opposite to the equal angles the sides which are opposite to the equal angles equal angle that means the two sides we have 45 45 these 45 45 opposite sides are equal if 45 degrees of opposite side is x 45 degrees of opposite side also x when it was x and x equal in that means x and x the 90 degrees is x and x the 90 degrees that means hypotenuse it was hypotenuse is according to the Pythagoras theorem side square plus side square under root that is x square plus x square to x square it was x root 2 so when we solve from the Pythagoras theorem it will becomes as x root 2 so you have to remember how is it so when we have the two angles in the right angle triangle one is 45 degrees another one is 45 degrees for the opposite sides for the equal angles are equal sides if 45 degrees of opposite is x the next 45 degrees also opposite is x so then the 90 degrees of opposite is x root 2 so what i am saying that is opposite sides opposite sides of the 45 degrees first opposite 45 degrees if you taken as a b and the c the 45 degrees of opposite is x 45 degrees of opposite is x 90 opposite is x root 2 it is very clear so this is the one of the triangle so we have two types of triangle one is 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees both triangles when 30 degrees of opposite is x 60 degrees of opposite is x root 3 90 degrees of opposite is 2x you have to remember that is it depends on the x value opposite to the 30 degrees is the x value opposite to 60 degrees is x root 2 opposite to 90 degrees is 2x the next triangle is 45 degrees opposite of 45 degrees is x opposite of 45 degrees is x opposite to 90 degrees is x root 2 so we are taking one example for the these 45 degrees 45 degrees of triangle how it is the triangle now if one ladder is set to the wall if the wall is 10 meters which makes the bottom it is 45 degrees when one angle is 45 degrees the another angle also 45 degrees because in the triangle 
the sum of the angles is 180 degrees, 90, 90, 45, 45. So it was 90 degrees. So two angles are 45, 45. See this. The opposite of 45 degrees is 10. So the opposite of 45 degrees also 10 meters. That's it. Opposite of the 90 degrees is 10 of root 2. 10 of root 2. So it was 10 of root 2. Simple. So 10 of root 2 in that means this is the wall. This is the distance between the wall to ladder. This is the ladder. So height of the ladder is length of the ladder is 10 root 2. This is the this is the answer. Simple thing. Okay, clear. So we are going to discuss uh, some of the example problems from which are the two angles are which are two triangle two types of triangles are one is 30 degrees, 60 degrees, another one is 45 degrees, 45 degrees. So in the 30 degrees, and in the 60 degrees, and in the 90 degrees. So 30 degrees, 60 degrees. 90 degrees, the opposite sides are, how it is opposite sides, x and x root 3 and 2x. In the 30 degrees, 60 degrees of 90 degrees, note it down, it is very important. And another angles are 45 degrees, 45 degrees and the 90 degrees. This both are 45 degrees, 45 degrees are equal. That is x, x and 90 degrees of opposite is x root 2. Okay, clear? Right. So, when we are going to solve the heights and distances problem, these two important concepts of is the sides opposite to the angles in the right angle triangle. The next concept is how the angle was formed. Angle was formed in that means the angle was formed by the two types. One is if for example, this is a straight line. From the straight line, when the person observes from at this point, this is the person observes. When the person observes, his eye look was straight to the his person. What is the opposite to is exactly opposite. That is a straight line. That is the eye look. If any of the article is above the person, above the person that means if is the one article is here. This is the, the any of the article here. How is uh, is He sees like a face up and he look the what is the top of the person which is the article. So, when original I look was this is the line, this is the line. When article was above the person, his I look was changes to like this. That means the original I look it is, which is is looking to the article is this line. This is the angle formed between the which is the original line and which is the what is observed the article. This is known as angle of elevation this is the angle of elevation urdva konamu antaru telugu lo angle of elevation angle of elevation ante enti oka vyakti sadharananga chuse kante chupu kante yettulo unna vastuvuni chusinappudu aa chusina chupu ki sadharananga chuse chupu ki madhyalo unda konanni angle of elevation ananta original ga chuse i look idi vastu unnappudu chusina i look line idi renditi padhyalo unna angle angle of elevation ఎప్పుడైతే బాగా గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాల్సింది ఏంటంటే యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఎలివేషన్ ఎక్కడ ఏర్పడుతుంది అంటే తనకంటే ఎత్తైన వస్తువుని చూసినప్పుడు యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఎలివేషన్ ఏర్పడుద్ది ఒక వ్యక్తి తనకంటే ఎత్తైన ఒక వస్తువుని పైనున్న ఒక వస్తువుని చూసినప్పుడు యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఎలివేషన్ అనేది ఏర్పడుతుంది తర్వాత ఏంటి అని అంటే ఒక వ్యక్తి తనకంటే కింద ఉన్న వస్తువుని ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇది ఈజ్ పర్సన్ ఈజ్ ఎబో ద బిల్డింగ్ హీఈస్ లుకింగ్ విచ్ ఆర్ ద ఆర్టికల్ అట్ ద బాటమ్ ఆఫ్ ది బిల్డింగ్ Right now, how you see he sees like uh, which is the bend his uh, head and he sees and his look was below his original look, right? And bottom to his original look. So, bottom to his original look is this is his look line. This is the original, this is what he is observes. Okay, clear, which is the article is below the person, which is the article is lower to the person. When he is observes, there is another angle was formed that is called angle of depression angle of depression nimna konam antar angle of depression what is the angle of depression which is the article observed below the person's original eye look below the person's original eye look this is the original eye look what is observes which is the article is bottom of the person the angle between the both original eye look to what is observed line 
that is called angle of depression angle of depression angle of depression so from the questions where was angle of elevation formed where was angle of depression was formed is the very very important where is angle of elevation formed where is the angle of elevation formed which is the article is above the person's observation that will be angle of elevation where will the angle of depression the angle of depression where will the article where will the observation is bottom to the person that will be angle of depression that is the very simple but it is looking very simple thing think that it is very difficult to form an angle in the figure what is the difficulty so for that difficulty you have to remember simple thing where we have the angle of elevation the given angle formed at the person where we have the angle of elevation the elevation was formed the elevation was formed elevation angle formed at person elevation angle formed at person so what is the given in the question the angle of elevation of 30 degrees and that means that 30 degrees formed at the person at the point of person if angle of depression is given in the question angle of depression and that means angle of depression in that means is observes the one article to below is below at the point at the bottom below at the bottom so when it was depression angle the depression angle should be the depression depression angle is yet article or it observed target so the angle of elevation at the person the angle of depression at the targeted point or which are the observed by the person at that point the angle of depression was formed for example if we take in one example for this what is that example if one person is observes a tower top of the tower a person is observes a top of the tower person is observes a top of the tower from the sum of the distance to the tower if he observes from it point if he observes from this point the top of the tower is the tower is above the person so what will happen there will be angle of elevation will be happen where is the angle of elevation the angle of elevation is given if 30 degrees or it was 45 degrees or it was 60 degrees the any of the value at taken as at that person where is the person here is the person so you take 30 degrees or 45 degrees or 60 degrees from this point so when the person observes the top of the any of the top of the mountain or top of the building or top of the tower the angle of elevation at the marked at the maker at a person's point what is the person's point here it is the person's point the same point we will take another example what is another example if a person is observed from top of the building so one person is observed from the top of the building a person is at the top of the building what is observed? He observed one car. He observed one car on floor. So, he observed one car on the floor. So, car is on the floor, on the earth. The person is in the top of the building. How is observed? When he observed, he looks. So, bottom to his eye line. So, it was down to the his eye line. Right? Is it clear? Now, if it is the statement as... The statement is like statement is angle of depression as 30 degrees. So in that means when the person observes the bottom of the article that is angle of depression is 30 degrees in that means the 30 degrees is not at the point of person where it was it was at a point of the article so the 30 degree set point of the article so you have to blindly remember that the angle of elevation at the point from the observer the angle of depression at the point of the target at the point of the target the angle of elevation at the person 
the angle of the depression at the target point. So the angle of depression at the target point is 30 degrees. So this is very important thing to remember. It is very, very useful to solve the problems. So this is the concepts of heights and distances. We have the two types of concepts. One is triangle. The triangle is angle and the what we have angle and the sides 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees. The opposite of 30 degrees is x. Opposite of 60 degrees is x root 3. Opposite of 90 degrees is 2x. The another sides of triangles in the 45 degrees to so 45 degrees, 90 degrees of a triangle. Opposite of 45 degrees is x. Opposite of 45 degrees is x. Opposite of 90 degrees is opposite of 90 degrees is x root 2. The second concept is angle of elevation and the angle of depression. The angle of elevation means when the person observes the top of the above of the article, the top of the article where it is formed a angle of elevation. When the person observes the bottom of the article or below what is the range to below the article, right? That will be angle of depression. Tanakante painuna was to choose in a pudu angle of elevation air pertadi. Tanakante kindavuna was to choose in a pudu angle of depression air pertadi. Angle of elevation anedi vekti vada air pertadi. Angle of depression anedi was to vada air pertadi. The angle of elevation marks at the point of a person. The angle of depression, depression marks at the point of the targeted article. That is a clear point. So this is the concepts for the heights and distances to solve the problems. So first problem we are going to discuss. Okay, see the problem. What is the problem from point from a point P on a level ground? The angle of elevation of the top tower is 30 degrees. Angle of elevation of the top tower is 30 degrees. If the tower is 200 meters height, the distance of point P from the foot of the tower is, okay, see this, the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. You have to see this, the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. What is the 30 degrees? The angle of elevation is 30 degrees. This is the elevation angle this is 30 degrees. The 30 degrees elevation where it was? It was at the point from the observation. At the point from the observation is where observation from the P. Clear? Now, the tower of the height is 200 meters. Tower of the height in that means which is the perpendicular to the earth that is the tower. So, we are going to solve from the figure it was. So, first you draw the tower. This is the tower. The tower is how much? The tower is 200 meters height. You observe from the point P, the point P from the distance to the tower. Okay, this is the point P. Right now, from this point P, you observe the top of the tower. So, we are observing top of the tower. So, when we are observing the top of the tower, the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. Angle of elevation where it was uh, marked, the marking point will be 30 degrees is from the point of observation. This is uh, 30 degrees angle of elevation. Where it was 30 degrees, this is 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees. Okay, see this. So, this is a triangle. This is 60 degrees. So simple. Already we are discussed about 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees of right angle triangle. That is opposite of 30 degrees is 200 meters. Opposite of 30 degrees is what we have the sides in the 30, 60 and the 90. Opposite of 30 is x. Opposite of 60 is x root 3. Opposite of 90 is 2x. So from this opposite of 30 is 200. So 200 it was. Opposite of 60 is 200 root 3. So, opposite of 60 is 200 root 3. Simple. What is the question? The question is, see this question, what is that? What is the distance? What is the distance? Point P from the foot of the tower. From the foot of the tower, the distance is, the distance is 200 root 3 from the foot from this foot of the tower, the distance to the point is 200 root 3. So, answer is 200 root 3. So, answer is 
200 root 3 that is the answer simple okay so we are solved from the 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees angles which are opposite to the sides in the right angle triangle the 30 degrees of opposite is 200 meters the remaining 60 degrees of opposite is 200 root 3 simple problem from the 30 degrees of right angle triangle so this is right very very easy go for the next question what is the next one okay clear the next question is series a ladder 10 meter long just to reaches the top of a wall makes an angle of 60 degrees with the wall makes an angle of 60 degrees with the wall find the distance of the foot of the ladder from the wall so first of all how is the ladder to the wall the ladder to the wall is when we draw the ladder to the wall ladder to the wall is the ladder is straight from the earth this is the wall the wall is perpendicular from the earth okay, clear this is the wall the wall from the distance from the wall this is the distance from the wall one ladder is touches the wall right this is the ladder is touches the wall this is the ladder is touches the wall okay, clear now this is the ladder what is the height of the ladder see this what is the height of the ladder the ladder is 10 meters long just reaches the angle 60 degrees it is not elevation angle it is not depression angle is simply said a wall reaches the top of a wall and makes an angle of 60 degrees with the wall 60 degrees of angle then to chest on the wall to chest on the okay 60 degrees of angle one of wall to chest the wall is the ladder it will make the it will make the 60 degrees of angle is it clear when it was 60 degrees it is 30 degrees it was the 30 degrees okay simple okay see this this is the 90 degrees which length we have we have a ladder length the ladder is 10 meters opposite to the 90 degrees is 10 meters how is the right angle triangle 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees 30 degrees of opposite is x 60 degrees of opposite is x root 3 90 degrees of opposite is 2x 90 degrees of opposite is 10 meters in that means it was 2x when 2x is 10 meters then x is 5 x is 30 degrees of opposite is 5 meters so height of the wall is 5 meters 60 degrees of opposite is 5 root 3 so 60 degrees of opposite is 5 root 3 so it is written as 5 root 3 opposite is 60 degrees the question is what distance from the bottom of the wall what distance from the bottom of the wall it is 5 root 3 distance from the bottom of the wall simple so just you have to remember that how is the sides how is the sides in the 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees of a right angle triangle that is 30 degrees is x 60 degrees is x root 3 90 degrees is 2x simply you are a substitute the values and solve it okay right take it go for the next question the next question is okay next question is hmm. a observer 2 meter tall observer 2 meter tall is it 10 root 3 meters away from a tower so is away from the 10 root 3 from a tower the angle of elevation from his eye to the top of the tower is 30 degrees the height of the tower is see you observe which angle we have we have angle of elevation angle of elevation where it was formed it was formed at the observer it was formed at the observer okay clear which value we have 10 root 3 meters away from the tower for example if it is the tower the observer here the 10 root 3 away from the tower so this is the figure this is the tower this is the 10 root 3 distance between the tower so we are clearly explain how is that 
when we see this the person is 2 meters height the person is 2 meter height first of all this is the person okay you think so what is the height of the person 2 meters is the height of the person okay clear so when that is 2 meters okay how is the 2 meters is the person when person's height is i according to top of the person on the head low on tie from this head he observes the top of the tower where is the tower there is the tower there is a tower he observes from bottom to the person in how much distance from 10 root 3 okay clear from it was 10 root 3 distance he observes 10 root 3 okay it was 10 root 3 so what is uh, the distance is 10 root 3 so is observed from the this top to the tower this is the observation you see this you just form a right angle triangle here so from the height is 2 meters that is not our problem where we have the form of the right angle triangle from here we form the right angle triangle when we form the right angle triangle what is the angle the angle of elevation of 30 degrees what is that 30 degrees the angle of elevation is 30 degrees this is the angle of elevation where is the angle of elevation angle of elevation is 30 degrees how much the angle 30 degrees the angle of elevation angle of elevation at the observer so where we have the observer the observer here the angle of elevation is 30 degrees this is 30 degrees of angle okay clear this is 60 degrees of angle if it was 60 degrees it is 30 degrees it is 30 degrees so see this this is 10 root 3 so this line also 10 root 3 okay opposite to 60 is 10 root 3 then 30 degrees is you have to remember that 30 60 90 30 30 degrees of opposite is x 60 degrees of opposite is x root 3 90 degrees of opposite is 2x this is x x root 3 and the 2x so 60 opposite is x root 3 60 opposite is 10 root 3 in that means x is 10 so that degrees of x is 10 simply so 10 is the length from the this point to this point only the overall tower is this is the overall tower so overall tower is this is the 10 this person height is 2 so he is also 2 the both of the height is 12 so tower length is 10 plus 2 tower length is 10 plus 2 tower length is 10 plus 2 12 meters so the question is very simple from it was 30 degrees to 60 degrees 90 degrees of angle the person's height is 2 meters the person observed from this point this point to angle of elevation is 30 degrees when it was 30 degrees here 60 degrees here the 60 degrees of opposite is 10 root 3 is given in the question what is that given from the tower to the person the distance is 10 root 3 so when it was distance is 10 root 3 this is also 10 root 3 since 60 opposite is 10 root 3 30 opposite is 10 so this is the tower the whole tower is this length is 10 this length is 2 how you conclude this is the 2 this is the same as to the person's height so total tower of the length is 12 meters okay clear so this is one important one for in the examination point of view okay right go for the next question go for the next question so that is only thing to solve the heights and distances problems what it was how is the angles in the right angle triangle how is the sides are opposite to the right angle triangle again i am repeating you have to note it or you have to remember it that is 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees three angles in the right angle triangle where it was 30 degrees to opposite is x units opposite to the 60 degrees is x root 3 units opposite to the 90 degrees is 2x for example 30 degrees of opposite is 20 meters 60 degrees of opposite is 20 root 3 
90 degrees of opposite is 40. So, which is the 30 opposite is 20. That is, it doubles to the opposite of 90, 40. Another side is, another triangle is 45 degrees, 45 degrees and the 90 degrees, which are opposite to the 45 degrees is x. That is, same also opposite to the 45 is x, which are the 90 degrees of opposite is x root 2. For example, 45 degrees of opposite is 20 meters. The another side also 20 meters. The opposite to the 90 degrees is 20 root 2. Is it clear? Right? So, next question on the screen. Okay? The angle of elevation of a ladder leaning against a wall is 60 degrees and the foot of the ladder is 12.4 meters away from the wall. The length of the ladder is, okay, simple. The angle of elevation of a ladder leaning against a wall is 60 degrees and the foot, the foot of the ladder is 12.4 meters away from the wall. The length of the ladder is, okay. This question is, I am only explaining in the, for example, this is our question paper. How have you taken the values from this question paper? Simple, the wall and the angle is 60 degrees. So, at the wall, the angle is 60 degrees. For example, this is the wall. Okay. This is the ladder. Okay. This is the distance between the bottom. Where we have the angle, we have the angle 60 degrees here. When we have the 60 degrees here, this is 30 degrees here. Okay. What will we have? The ladder is 12.4 meters away from the wall. The ladder is 12.4 meters away from the wall. So 12.4 meters away from the wall means 60 degrees of opposite is 12.4. Then 30 degrees of opposite is 30 degrees of opposite is how is that? 30 degrees is x. 60 degrees opposite is x root 3, x root 3 is equals to 12.4, then x is equal to 12.4 by root 3, okay, clear, 12.4 root 3, okay, uh, wait, uh, uh, we are taken, figure, figure again, what is the figure? The figure, angle elevation, okay, not uh, with the wall. Angle of elevation in that means the angle of elevation from the bottom, the angle of elevation from the bottom. So, this is the wall, this is the distance from the wall, this is the ladder, this is leading the elevation angle leaning against the wall is 60 degrees. So, elevation of angle is at the bottom, this is 60 degrees, which is 30 degrees, 30 degrees of opposite is 12.4. So, the ladder is, which is the ladder, which is the hypotenuse is the ladder. 30 opposite is 12.4, 90 opposite is doubles, doubles is 24.8, simple. So, the elevation angle in that means the elevation angle at the point from the bottom. If you are person, you have to take the point here, not from the here. So, the angle of elevation is 60 degrees, that means the 60 degrees angle at the bottom. So, this is the simple question and we are solved at the, this point of uh, space only. So, because in the examination hall, this is you have to take a figure from the question. So, next question is, go for the next question. Before go for the next question, you have to remember once again, what is that? The 30 degrees, the 60 degrees, the 90 degrees of opposite is 30, 60, 90 degrees of opposite is x, x root 3 and 2x, x, x root 3 and 2x, okay, clear. So, go for the next question. The next question on the screen. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a certain point is 30 degrees. Chunandi, where is the angle of elevation? The angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a certain point is 30 degrees. 30 degrees, either one point, 30 degrees over the angle of elevation is happening. If the observer moves 40 meters towards the tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is increases by 15 degrees, the height of the tower is. It was some of the difficulty level of question. So, we are taken clear figure, clear picture for this 
question what is the clear picture first you take tower this is the tower what we have the tower this is the tower a person is uh, some of the distance the point from the p this is the point from the p he have a angle of elevation he have a angle of elevation what he have a angle of elevation so we are taken this is the point p the angle of elevation to the top of the tower to the top of the tower and when he observes the top of the tower the angle of elevation is first angle of elevation is 30 degrees the first angle of elevation is 30 degrees the angle of elevation is 30 degrees the angle of elevation is 30 degrees the angle of elevation is 30 degrees okay rapan sir right go for the next question the next question is the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a certain point is 30 degrees if the observer moves 40 meters towards the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower increases by 15 degrees the height of the tower is first we have to analyze the question first when we observe the angle is 30 degrees when that angle is 30 degrees when it moves towards the tower for 40 meters the angle is increased by 15 degrees and it was makes a 45 degrees of angle so for this we are consider we are taken complete figure complete picture for the question what is the picture so first draw a tower this is the tower when we draw the tower this is the tower the tower is from this tower the person is some of the distance from the point p this is the point p when it was the point p so we are write down it is the point p from that point p the angle of elevation to the top of the tower so when you observe the top of the tower the angle of elevation is 30 degrees simple 30 degrees see this the 30 degrees this is the tower the tower is exactly we don't know so it is height it is the height the height is the height height opposite 30 degrees is height opposite to the 60 degrees is this 60 degrees h root 3 so h root 3 that is h root 3 okay clear next when is moves towards the 40 meters to the tower so is moves towards the 40 meters is moves towards the 40 meters to the tower the angle of elevation increased by 15 degrees in that means increased by it was 45 degrees 30 degrees increased by 15 meters means it was the angle is 45 degrees now it was angle this angle is 45 degrees when it was 45 degrees this is another new right angle triangle the another new right angle triangle opposite of 45 degrees is h opposite of 45 degrees of h this is also h this length is 40 meters this length is 40 meters so observe in the before triangle before triangle means the first triangle is this is in the first triangle this is the h the whole length is h root 3 that is distance now it was 45 degrees is this is becomes as h this is the becomes as 40 meters so h root 3 is equals to h plus 40 okay you understand that is h root 3 is the whole distance from the tower this is the 40 meters is run towards and the next one is this is the h because 45 opposite is 45 so 40 plus h is equal to h root 3 now we are going to solve what is the 40 so h is come to this side h root 3 minus h is equals to 40 when the h will be common root 3 minus 1 that is equal to 40 so what is the height of the tower the height of the tower is simply 40 by root 3 minus 1 40 by root 3 minus 1 okay observe so first one is the whole distance is h root 3 opposite of h is h root 3 
from the second triangle 45 degrees 45 degrees h and h this part is the h this part is 40 degrees 40 plus h is equal to h root from it was we are solved h as 40 by root 3 minus 1 what is the question the height of the tower is the height of the tower is 40 root 3 40 by root 3 minus 1 40 by root 3 minus 1 simple okay this is the answer so when person moves towards the 30 degrees to 45 degrees the height of the tower is always 40 by root 3 minus 1 if height of the tower is 50 meters when the person moves to the 50 meters towards the height the height of the tower is 50 by root 3 minus 1 50 by root 3 minus 1 so you simply remember when the person observes the top of the tower with the angle of elevation 30 degrees when he was moves towards the tower of x meters or 40 meters or 50 meters the angle of elevation is increased by the 15 meters that means 30 degrees to 45 degrees it was increases the tower of the height is that of the 40 meters by root 3 minus 1 okay simple so you clearly observe how the figure will be drawn how we are explaining how the question will be solved okay simple going to the next question move on to the next question the next question is from a tower of 80 meters high the angle of depression of a bus is 30 degrees how far is the bus from the tower okay simple first time and in the before problems all we have angle of elevations the first time we are observed that is the angle of depression angle of depression that means the angle of depression at the point of the observer at the sorry at the point of the article where you are from observe from the tower of 80 meters height we are observed from the tower of the height we are observe the bus so this is the bus so we are observe the bus okay when the from the top of the tower when we observe the bus the angle of depression in that means the angle formed at the bus okay, clear the angle formed at the bus 30 degrees 30 degrees is depression angle the 30 degrees of opposite is tower of the height is 80 meters when it was 30 degrees the next angle is 60 degrees 30 opposite is 80 60 opposite is 80 root 3 60 opposite is 80 root 3 so how much distance from the tower he observes from the 80 root 3 he was observes okay simple angle of depression that means the depression angle is where which article you have to observe which is your target to observe that will be angle max at that point where observe from the top to the bus so bus is our target so the angle of depression formed at our target is 30 degrees okay clear the angle of depression that means that one next go for the next question the next question is the two ships are sailing in the sea on the two sides of the lighthouse the angle of elevation of the top of the lighthouse is observed from the ships are 30 degrees and 45 degrees respectively if the lighthouse is 100 meters height the distance between the two ships is okay simple you observe that question is the two sides of the ships is observed from the lighthouse from the lighthouse okay if the lighthouse here from the top of the lighthouse you observe one ship on the left side you observe one ship on the right side the two ships are observed from the right to left one angle is 30 degrees one angle is 45 degrees so we are going to draw the same figure so the figure is and the figure is first you draw the lighthouse lighthouse in that means which is the height of 100 meters from the perpendicular to the wall from the perpendicular to the wall so go for the wall the wall is how is the tower lighthouse in that means this is perpendicular to the bottom of the earth this is the perpendicular this is the tower which is the length of the tower the length of the tower is 100 meters the length of the tower is 100 meters so 
length of the tower is taken 100 meters so 100 meters you observe top of the tower so you observe the top of the tower you observe from the top of the tower so you are here so top of the tower in that means you observe two ships which are the left side which are the right side one is angle of depression is 30 degrees another angle of depression is 45 degrees depression that means you are at the top your target line is here so this is the angle of depression one is 30 degrees you are here your target is a ship the second target is 45 degrees the second target is 45 degrees so you observe this is the 30 degrees of opposite is 100 this is 60 degrees so it is 100 root 3 is it clear this is the 45 degrees this is also 45 degrees 45 of opposite is 100 45 opposite of 100 this is also same what is the distance between two ships one ship is here the second ship is here the distance between the two ships is 100 root 3 plus 100 this is 100 plus 100 root 3 100 plus 100 root 3 so this is the root 3 root 3 is 100 plus 100 root 3 100 plus 100 root 3 not 200 root 3 so not 200 root 3 okay you have to remember 100 100 is the common so you common 100 from the both you get the root 3 on one side plus 1 we have so that is 100 root 3 plus 1 that is 100 root 3 plus 1 okay simple so the answer is 100 root 3 plus 1 the from the top of the tower from the top of the lighthouse you observe one ship here 30 degrees of depression angle from the top of the tower you observe the second ship 45 degrees of opposite here the light of the lighthouse height of the lighthouse is 100 meters 30 degrees of opposite is 100 60 opposite is 100 root 3 45 opposite is 100 45 opposite is 100 so the both of the ships length is 100 plus 100 root 3 the length of the distance between the two ships are 100 of root 3 plus 1 okay clear so in this question we are observed the two angles at a time that is 30 degrees is 45 degrees is. so these type of problems are very very important so any of the problems we have to remember that 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees 45 degrees 45 degrees 90 degrees these two right angle triangles of opposite sides are how it was so you have to remember okay this is the solution for the heights and distances problems okay thank you